I will hold. Okay. Yeah. To backward? Yeah. Okay. Let me put Gosh! <laughs> <笑>雨が降ってきちゃったんでもうやめにします。半分だけフェンダー切りました。こんなになりました。超ショートボディですね。こんなです。はい、バラバラになりました。車体後部を3つに3枚乗ろしたんですけどもダブルオールトリプルオールが多くて苦労しました。見ても今わかんないですね。Perfect. Okay. なんとかなりそうですね。ロードスターのタイヤを探しに来ました。タイヤがないとサスペンションの位置がちょっとよくわかんないんですよねなのでちょっと作業が今中断している状態なんですここですねもうすげえ混んでるそうですね中から合いそうなタイヤを探します。スクラップヤードではタイヤが見つからなかったので、普通のタイヤ屋さんにどんなタイヤがあるのか見に行こうと思ってます。we found some wheels that we liked online and then we looked for a place if we could find wheel and tire packages and we found this website car id so we went by size we knew we wanted a 15 inch diameter we didn't want the old 13 and we didn't want anything taller because we still want it to look kind of old school we picked seven inches wide because we want the same width on the front and rear. We picked the Miata bolt pattern. And then we picked the 20 millimeter offset because we wanted the same wheels on the front and the rear. And we knew that the Miata wheels that are at a 40 millimeter positive offset are fine for the front, but they don't work on the back. They hit the inside of the fender wells. So we went with a 20 millimeter because that's 
uh, the choices we had for these wheels. We found the Koenigs. We, we know we wanted those. We found these. They were a nice price. So then we just went to choose the tires. We knew we wanted something shorter than the Miata wheels, but taller than the Midget wheels. So this is what we found. We found 195 50R15s, and they were the price we wanted. We put them to our package. What was nice about this website is it all also uh, gave us a free set of uh, lug nuts front for the entire car, and we picked chrome. So these came to us completely ready to go on the car. Next, we wanted to pick uh, new coilover shocks, front and rear. The old ones were pretty looked pretty worn out, and we wanted shocks that... Uh, we could adjust the height and adjust the dampening. And on Amazon, we found these coilovers and read some pretty decent reviews about them. And they were a great price. And we decided to go with the gold. Cut out of the Miata. This is the subframe connection, the rear subframe connection. And it's going to sit right about here. It's, it's almost perfect. We don't even think we'll have to cut into our uh, midget uh, unibody frame. But we do have to cut this section out so that we have space for our shock to come up. After we cut this space out for our shock tower, we realize that this bump is just completely in the way. So we're going to cut this bump all the way out. This bump was the, uh, I think, what the rear end rubber bumpers uh, hit up against. Um, Cool. We're going to cut it out of the way. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, we can even... Perfect. Okay, we have a rotisserie. <laughs> kind of. Well, yeah, kind of. Not that bad, actually. Yeah, it's well. はい、一応クリーニングが終わりました。こんな感じですね。クリーニングが終わったのでここにフロントのサブフレームと三宅のユニボディを溶接していきますエンジンを少し後ろに動かしてみましたフィルターも今はついてる状態ですねラッチエリアはもうちょっと大きく切り出す予定ですでここがシフターですね宮田のオリジナルシフターでここまでシフターのシフターボックスを動かしたいです宮田のユニボディのフロント部分を溶接しましたまだ汚いですけれども後できれいにします<笑>あ見た目は変わらないですね前とあとこの辺も少し切り欠きを大きくしましたということでこの後のアクションは一番目としてはショックアブソーバーの取り付けで2番目がタイヤですねホイールの取り付けで3番目がプロペラシャフトの角度を適切になるようにトランスミッションとリアデフの位置を決めていきますこれでうまく位置を決めないとプロペラシャフトが振動してしまってこの後すごく影響が大きいので注意してやらなくちゃいけないところですでそれで決まったら4番目としてこのリアデフとかサスペンション周りですねでタイヤの位置も含めてリア
タイヤの位置も含めて、えー、決めて溶接していくとここはかなり慎重に進めなくちゃいけないというところです。それじゃあまた。